Hello and welcome back to Cycle Fab. I'm Larry. In today's video, I will be going over the three most important modifications that you can do to your DIY powder coat guns. I'm talking about the Eastwood and Harbor Freight powder coat unit. If you like the video, then please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and go ahead and hit that notification bell too so you know when my next videos are coming out. Now, let's get on with the video. Now, these modifications are in no particular order here. Okay, I'm not gonna say this one's better than this one at all. Actually, you need all three of them. But if I were to pick just one, it would be the grounding rod. That is a necessity for any powder coat system, is the grounding rod. Or it needs to have a good ground. You know, any way you go about doing that, go for it. But what I find that works the best for me and everybody else is a dedicated grounding rod. The best thing about having a ground rod just for your powder coat unit is that you can put it very close to it. That's very important. Now mine is about eight feet away, so it's like right there. Another thing is, you know, wet the grounding rod down before you use it. That will help the conductivity be stronger and create a more charge negative side for the positive particles to stick to. Now I have a video for installing a ground rod, uh, the one that I did here in this shop. Uh, if you want to check it out, there's a link right down below. Uh, you can go down there, click on it, it'll take you right to it. Or you can just go to my playlist and check it out there. The link to the playlist will be at the end of this video, uh, somewhere over in here. The next thing on the list is the mixing tube. Now, when I say mixing tube, that's the tube that actually forces the air into the powder reservoir. And it creates this little vortex in there and gets all the powder mixed with the air. Now, modification of this tube does help. There, there's something that I can't really seem to catch on film and that's surging. Uh, at least with the Eastwood. Now I have felt it with the Harbor Freight too in their stock form. Uh, there's ways around that, but you know, not putting too much powder in the powder reservoir, uh, just you know, putting a little bit. But you know, you're kind of hurting yourself by doing that if you don't have a lot of powder in there, depending on the size of the part you're doing. So what I did is I modified the input tube, the air input tube by putting two more holes into it to help that vortex mix that powder better with the air. As you can see here, now this is a picture of the Eastwood. The Harbor Freight's totally different, and I'll get to that in just a moment. But on the Eastwood, you can see here that it is, the two holes are off to one side, probably about one o'clock or two o'clock. I think it's 30 degrees. I have a video over this. Uh, in fact, I have two videos over it, one on one on the Harbor Freight. Uh, please check those out. Those are very good videos. They're linked down below. The Eastwood is a modification that you can do at home. You know, um, you know, watch the video. It'll be in there. To do it. That's a tough animal. Uh, these off the showroom floor, so to speak, off the shelf. These have to operate at like 30 PSI to get them to do anything. At least that's been my experience with them. Uh, so what I did is I redesigned the air input tube. Uh, you can see a picture of it here. Uh, I sell these on eBay. There's a link down below for them along with the other kits that I'll get into later. But this is a huge modification for this gun for the Harbor Freight, uh, really. If I only had one modification to do, choice to do on a Harbor Freight, it would be that one. Uh, it, you, it decreases the amount of PSI of air you have to put into this, but it increases the volume of particles coming out the end of it. So uh, it's a huge, great benefit. Anyway, uh, let me get off of that and stop ranting. Those right there are very big modifications that you can do to any gun. But there is one more, and that is the diffuser kit that I make for both of these guns right here. You can see on the end, uh, those are the columns that you see. The diffuser themselves are 
well, down inside. Something that I came up with for these guns in order to help me in the shop. And I decided to offer them to you guys and they have went like hotcakes. Would like for them to go faster. <laughs> but they really do help these DIY powder gun systems. Uh, both the Eastwood and the Harbor Freight, uh, immensely. You can check out my videos on these. I have done many. Uh, there are links down below. Also, again, in my playlist at the end of this video, please check those out. Here are some of the reviews off of eBay on my little invention, my diffuser for the powder coat guns. And yeah, I do ship them fast. I, I don't sell a whole lot of them, it's just me but I get them out the door. As soon as the order comes in, I, I get them out the door. I, I've, I've gotten good reviews. I've, I've been doing this for a while now, uh, making these things. And I, I just want to remind all you new guys out there who are coming into the channel, especially or just getting in the powder coat, the yeah, white powder coat for the very first time, and you're using the Harbor Freight or the Eastwood system. It's, it's fantastic. Please check the videos out. And thank you for watching, and I do appreciate you guys coming back every week. I will see you guys next weekend, and hopefully I'll try to put in some more shorts. I didn't get to any this week, but, you know, I'm new at the whole shorts game. Say, so, you guys take care. I'm over 4,000 subscribers now, uh, uh, 4,100, I think. Yeah, and anyway, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. You guys take care. Have a lovely week. And I'll catch y'all next weekend. Bye.